Extinct, gone forever, or so we thought. Imagine declaring a species dead, only for it to reappear decades, even centuries later. Like a ghost knocking at our door. Scientists have a name for it, the Lazarus Effect. From deep sea fish pulled from the abyss, to creatures thought lost to time, here are 10 extinct species that shocked the world by coming back. One vanished for over 100 million years. Another was rediscovered by accident in someone's backyard. These are not myths. These are real animals that defied extinction. And number one, you won't believe how long it disappeared. Let's get into it. In 1938, a South African museum curator found a strange fish in a local fisherman's catch. Its fins looked like legs, its body prehistoric. It was the coelacanth, believed extinct for 66 million years. This fish predates dinosaurs. Scientists had only seen its fossils until that day. Since then, coelacanths have been found off the coasts of South Africa, Madagascar, and Indonesia, hiding 2,000 feet feet below the surface. It breathes like a fish, but its limb-like fins hint at a time when sea life crawled onto land. A living fossil, frozen in time. Its reappearance challenged everything we knew about extinction. Even more fascinating, the coelacanth has a unique rostral organ in its snout used for electroreception, an ancient biological feature. It moves with a peculiar, almost robotic gait, using its paired fins like limbs. This evolutionary oddity provides insight into how vertebrates may have transitioned from water to land millions of years ago. In the 1920s, rats brought by a shipwreck wiped out this massive insect on Lord Howe Island, declared extinct by 1960. Then, in 2001, climbers on Ball's Pyramid, a rocky outcrop nearby, found fresh insect droppings. In 2003, they returned at night and found them. Giant, glossy stick insects hiding under a bush. Only 30 were alive, but breeding programs brought them back from the brink. This rediscovery proved one thing. Sometimes, life Life survives in the most impossible places. Today, the insects are part of a rigorous captive breeding program in Australia. Scientists have even sequenced their genome to better understand how such a tiny population managed to hold on. Soon, there are plans to reintroduce them to their original home, Lord Howe Island, once the invasive rat population is completely eradicated. Believed extinct for 500 years, this lizard was a legend on the Canary Islands. That changed in 2007 when a park ranger spotted a massive lizard on volcanic rock. Photos confirmed its identity. The La Palma giant lizard can grow over three feet long. It's now protected and studied as one of Europe's greatest rediscoveries. Who knows how many more ancient species hide in well-traveled regions? Locals had spoken of giant lizards for decades, but without physical evidence, their stories were dismissed. Since the rediscovery, biologists have discovered a small but stable population surviving on steep cliffs, areas inaccessible to humans or predators. Conservationists are now actively protecting these isolated zones and establishing breeding programs. Discovered in 1876, then vanished. Scientists thought the fearsome terror skink was extinct. In 2003, it was found alive on a remote island. With razor-sharp teeth and aggressive behavior, it hunts other lizards. Rare behavior for skinks. Its name isn't just hype, it earns it. Even today, sightings are rare. It's a reminder that even predators can become phantoms. The skink lives exclusively on a tiny islet in New Caledonia, less than a square kilometer in size. Its limited range makes it one of the most endangered and specialized predators in the world. Researchers are studying its role in the island's micro-ecosystem, which includes several species found nowhere else on Earth. For over a century, the night parrot was myth. No confirmed photos, no recordings, then, in 2013, one was captured on camera in Queensland, a chubby green bird with a haunting gaze. It flies silently by night, nearly invisible by day. Researchers found more, but barely. It's still one of the rarest, most mysterious birds on Earth. Its rediscovery proved that even the quietest voices in nature can echo back after decades of silence. 
Conservationists have since created protected zones where known populations exist, but the night parrot remains vulnerable to habitat loss, feral cats, and climate change. Some ornithologists believe there are fewer than 100 left in the wild, yet its rediscovery has inspired a surge of interest in nocturnal bird research across Australia a wide-eyed primate not seen since 1921, until 2008, when scientists in Indonesia caught one in a net, alive and very real. Tiny, quick, and elusive, the pygmy tarsier lives in cloud forests where few humans go. Its amber eyes and ghostly silence give it an almost mythic presence. Its comeback reminds us, the world's weirdest creatures often live in its most remote corners. Measuring just 4 inches in height, this primate was once known only from skulls in museum drawers. When rediscovered, the pygmy tarsier didn't just return, it changed our understanding of tarsier evolution and Southeast Asia's biodiversity, last seen in 1973. But in 2020, scientists in Djibouti set over 1,000 traps baited with peanut butter and caught one. Then more! This long-nosed hopping mammal had been hiding in plain sight for decades. It shows us that sometimes, rediscovery just takes time, persistence, and a little peanut butter. With its rediscovery, researchers now hope to track migration patterns and evaluate how this tiny creature survived decades of extreme heat and drought. It's also inspired local conservation efforts in Djibouti, highlighting the role citizen science can play in biological discovery. Known only from a skull found in the 1960s, this rodent had never been seen alive. By the 1980s, it was labeled extinct. Then, in 2000, scientists caught several in the Alps. Not only was it alive, it had been there all along. Its rediscovery sparked debates about how many more creatures are labeled extinct too soon. Recent surveys have shown the vole clings to survival in high-altitude forests and meadows. Its shy, nocturnal nature and incredibly small population make it difficult to study but also a strong case for using caution before declaring extinction. It also raises questions about how climate change could affect such hyper-local species. New Zealand's Takahe was declared extinct in 1898. Big, blue, and flightless, it was written off as another casualty of human expansion. Then, in 1948, trampers in the Murchison Mountains saw one, alive. Since then, conservationists have built the population from just a few individuals to over 400 today. It's one of the greatest comeback stories in conservation. The Takahe now lives in fenced reserves and predator-free zones across New Zealand. Volunteers and biologists monitor the bird's health and genetics, and the Department of Conservation has plans to return them to the wild. It's a tale of hope and proof that with commitment, we can undo the damage we've caused. So what do these creatures teach us? That extinction isn't always final, that nature is full of surprises, and that sometimes the dead come back, not in legend, but in flesh. For every ghost bird, hidden skink, or forgotten fish, there may be dozens more awaiting rediscovery. If this blew your mind, hit like, smash subscribe, and tell us in the comments, which species shocked you the most? Until next time, stay curious, because the world isn't done surprising us.